Defects can be raised in Zephyr Enterprise by heading into a cycle, into a phase, selecting a test case, then going to the right hand side using the D button to raise a defect. Now clicking on this allows you to either link in an existing defect, use a defect ID, a JQL query or a filter that you've created in Jira to find a defect and link it or you could create a brand new defect and automatically link this to your ironclad project in Jira with the ironclad project in Zephyr. So we select the issue type as being a bug, we can fill in the summary, any of the system field or custom field values, we're just adding in the description here for the steps to reproduce so that the person who's been assigned to this particular bug will be able to pick up the step information, the um, expected results, and all of the information around the notes and attachments. So this bug is created now, it's IR7. We see the link there as well. The tooltip shows us some information around the bug. In Jira, we can see the rich text area showing you the wiki markup and the link back to Zephyr Enterprise. Heading back to Zephyr Enterprise here, you can see if we head over to the link, it takes us into defect tracking and selecting the bug here shows us all of the field data. Changing any of the information here, for example, the priority. Or even, let's say we wanted to use the edit capability to, uh, to take a look at all of the fields. Make any changes here. Let's see what we can change. Perhaps change the attachments here. Add in a, a screenshot. Now if we head back into Jira now, we'll be able to see the associated change. Scroll down and you can see the screenshot. And indeed up at the top here you can see the priority has been marked as lowest. 